Hi, first we're going to start off by weeding the excess material. And as you can see, it's been cut out by a regular a vinyl cutter. Sometimes we need to just help help out by a regular a vinyl cutter. Sometimes we need to just help help out with some uncut labels as we expect them. Uh, once we finish with weeding, we we'll just fix up the labels that became loose, and then we can start our process of uh, dispensing resin. Now, this is our dispenser. Uh, we have air coming, uh, an air hose coming out into our dispensing barrel. This barrel is right now full of doming resin. Uh, we have a needle that we'll be using in a moment. I'll show you how that's done. Uh, here we have the on off switch, auto for uh, manual or automatic. Time, this allows us to set how much resin we want to dispense at a time. The air pressure, I uh, would like to keep it at around uh, 30 or 2.5 bar, 30 psi or um, 3 bar. This is how we regulate that pressure. Vacuum, that is if we're using <clears throat> a very um, liquid uh, resin, which in our case, uh, in the doming material, we will not be using, but it's a suck back function. Uh, so there's no dripping uh, coming from the needle. Uh, in the back, we have a foot switch. We can e either use a foot pedal for dispensing, or what I have right now set up, a little switch that will be uh, pressing. In the back, we have the incoming air hose into the unit, power switch, either 110 or 220, and uh, we have uh, complete instructions. It's a very simple uh, piece of equipment, and the process is as following. Um, depending on what you're doming, uh, first you need to uh, test out how much resin you want to dispense at a time and that's done in the following way the way we can do it we have it set for auto so let's start with one of these and obviously that's too little of resin so we can do another dispense and that's probably good enough it will uh, flow to the edges and stop at the edges and now we can continue with with the other ones and once we establish the right amount maybe we can just just a tad give more so we can just go quickly okay so you see the idea of of this. Now we can turn off our auto switch and we will trigger with this uh, hand switch by holding the switch and then releasing to stop the flow of the resin. And this is very helpful in these situations uh, with these types of labels as we have here. We can do it this way. Um, some of these more intricate labels we can just go like this and then resin will flow out to the edges or we can just hold it as in this case perfect um, so depending on how large of a label if you want to use the manual mode as in this case that's manual the auto is the mode 
for dispensing in one shot the amount of resin for each label. So basically you just tap the switch and the right amount of resin flows out. That will conclude the um, introduction of this dispenser. Once we have all of the labels covered with resin, we will uh, now check for any air bubbles. If there, are, if there are any air bubbles, we simply take a, um, a, a, a torch, light over, and the air bubbles will uh, disperse coming up in the air. Once that's finished and you've looked over all of the labels, we will put our UV exposure unit and expose that for about 15-20 minutes and the labels are ready to be used. And that is the end of this presentation. Thank you.